Hey, lovely Mrs. Dre. Happy Easter for all you, all of the, all of, all of you. What the fuck am I trying to say? I celebrate Easter for those who don't. Happy Sunday. Happy April Fool's Day. Also, I uh, uh, hope y'all had, had a good day. Um, I was hoping to vlog early, but this thing kept happening and happening. It was, it was a pretty crazy day, and by crazy, I mean just busy. And I was tired the entire day because I didn't go to sleep till like I think two the night before, and I had to wake up at like. I woke up at 8.30 originally and then fell back asleep until like 9 and then fell back asleep again. <laughs> Basically, I had trouble getting up and I was supposed to go to brunch with my friends at like 10.30 that day or today. It was not a good time. Uh, though brunch was a lot of fun. Um, I, I, I don't like going out on holidays, but that was actually not bad. Um, went to a card shop and I might be getting back into the Magic the Gathering again. Because I'm really bad when it comes to peer pressure, and also because I was looking at the cards, and I was like, oh, I want to play this again. This looks like fun. This is fun. I miss magic. Uh, I actually got one of their little, they have like these things for Star decks now that I actually grabbed. Because it was like a little box of stuff for free, so I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to grab one. Especially because it's, it's like a um, uh, black deck, and I was like, yeah, buddy. Well, it's black green, which preferably... I think I played mostly black red was like my favorite deck type when I played. I don't remember exactly. It's been way too long. I didn't I haven't played since like high school to be honest. I quit like my senior year, I wanna say. Senior junior senior year one or two. No, my senior year, yeah, I quit my senior year. Um, yeah, so that was that was a good time. Uh what else happened today? Um Oh, okay, so it was April Fool's Day, right? April Fool's Day. I want to tell the story because this is by far my favorite story of all time. So, um, so my birthday is April 2nd, right? So my birthday actually right now is tomorrow. Well, every year my mom likes to tell me, um, this, like, the story about, like, um, when I was, she likes to tell me when I was born and all that. Just because for some reason she just, I, I don't know why she does it, but she does. But that also means I memorized this, that, uh, my very first and only April Fool's prank to my mom was uh was my birth because I she went to labor uh April first uh late at night and then didn't give birth until like April second so she was like oh I'm gonna have a, a April Fool's baby it's like nah fuck you April Fool's day April Fool's bitch <laughs> it was it's my favorite and then apparently uh, what she told me also was that she told her best friend and she had twins. Which wasn't true, because I'm an only child. <laughs> but, so it was just funny, because it's just, it's just like the plus side of being an uh, April 2nd baby is that, like, it's like, you know, my mom and I had some great April Fool's pranks for one year in 1996. I always found it fucking funny as shit. Uh, I don't know what's funnier, the actual story, the fact that my mom tells me that every year, it's kind of ridiculous to be real. But I'm accepting it. But yes, tomorrow's my birthday. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be also going to set up an appointment to get my new my next tattoo, cause that's actually gonna be a thing. Um, I'm debating between my arm tattoo, which is gonna be a soul gem from Madoka Magica, uh, Homeworlds to be specific, or a Bioshock themed tattoo on my leg. Probably my leg one because my new job actually does not like tattoos. They don't want you to have tattoos, which is bad because I have my chest piece, <laughs> so nah, that's not a fun time for me. I have to make sure my shirt is all the way buttoned up and I look very professional for once in my life, which I don't normally do, except when I wear these glasses, because I look super smart also. <laughs> that was a classic joke. <laughs> but yeah, so I get to finally get a new tattoo after, oh my god, almost a year actually, because I got my chest piece some... <sighs> I'm talking about when I got my chest piece. I have to look at old photo. I'm pretty sure it's sometime in the spring, because I think I got before I met my boyfriend. And I know I got before I moved. Oh, I don't even know. It's just been like, it's it's been way too long since I got a tattoo. I just, I want a new one. Alright, okay. I gotta get, I got, like, I have three more on my list of tattoos that I absolutely have to get. It's my Bioshock one, the rest of my Soul Gem, and then I need to get a Ratchet and Clank tattoo. And I'm thinking between getting the wrench from Ratchet and Clank, um, or just a bolt. Like one of the one of the little bolts is on my wrist. I do a little cute wrist tattoo like that. Granted, if I do the I can't do the wrist tattoo until I get a job that's perfectly okay with tattoos because it'll be on my wrist. You can it's easier to see my wrist. I don't know. I want I want to do 
I, I, I need to get like those types of stuff because I know Bioshock, um, Ratchet and Clank, and Portal were like my big three because I know two of those had like uh, sentimental value to me and like significance, and then one of them was just is just amazing in general. I fucking love the Bioshock series, but no, Ratchet and Clank and Portal were like sentimental values because those were some great bonding times with my dad. Cause my dad and I would always, would play those games um, when I was younger, and it was just a great time and. It's just nice. Nice, sentimental. And also, I fucking love those games. The Burning Passion. Like, oh my god. I, I, I'm i trying to get my boyfriend to play Ratchet and Clank now, actually. <laughs> I keep trying to get him to play it. Uh, and he's just like, you have a PS3. You have the game. So why do I have to get it? I'm just like, so you can actually physically play it. Please. Play this game. Play the original. You can play the remake. You can play the remake. I don't care. You can play the remake. But you have to play the original. Please. Please, for love all is going to holy play the original. <sighs> I am such a fangirl. Either way, yeah, so, um, since I'm not doing any videos for my birthday tomorrow, um, actually, I don't think, yeah, I don't think, I think the only thing special I'm doing for my birthday is going out with friends on, like, Friday. Oh, also dinner tomorrow, which I don't know what I'm doing for that either. I'm really bad at this. I just too much stuff. I want, like, so many things. I want, like, sushi. I want, like, steak. I want, like, Russian food and, like, vodka, but I have to make a decision. Basically, my boyfriend's deciding because I'm, like, here's some ideas I want. It's all gonna decide on it if you come or not, because you join us for dinner, sushi most likely. If you don't, if, no, if you don't come with us to dinner, sushi, if you do come with us, steak. Because I fucking love both. Oh my god. I'm just hungry thinking about this. I need to stop. I, like, because I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off. Because I do want to get some editing done um, and some Warframe grinding so I can get more of the relics. Uh, yeah, but there's going to be a stream tomorrow. It's going to be a good time. Everything's going to be great and dandy and might be a stream tonight. I don't fucking know. I'll still link the, the Twitch in the description if you want to see if I'm streaming or not. Fuck it. Uh, yeah. Um, happy Easter and have a good night, my dudes. Bye.